Hello again and welcome to my channel, David Charles Psychic, International Psychic Light Witch, and you can find me on davidcharlespsychic.com. Today I'm going to give you a reading for next week from the 23rd, Saturday the 23rd of March, right through seven days. There are four packs of cards here, one, two, three and four. I'd like to choose one of these going by the feelings you get inside, not necessarily by looking at the decks or the table or the crystal ball. Look at what you want, but feel the card set that's right for you. If you want to pause the video to think about it, do so. And uh, we'll get straight on with number one. If you pick pack number one, this is for you for next week. Remove the crystal. This is an old deck of tarot cards, nearly as old as me. I've had these many, many years. I'll shuffle these briefly. They've been shuffled already, but we'll shuffle them again. So if you chose number one, this is for you. Please subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, Click the bell symbol and you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video. And a special hello to those of you who are lonely today or who are watching on your own. Hello, nice to see you here. And if you chose number one, this is for you. Well, a lot of this is about matters of the heart. Some of you have been hurt, maybe recently. Some of you are still hurting today. A lot of you are defensive. This won't apply to everybody. It's a general reading, but a lot of it will apply to you. There are signs of betrayal or people taking you for granted as far as love goes. And you've been hurt in the past. You don't want to be hurt anymore. Some of you should be letting go of this person, but finding it very difficult to do so. This person, he or she, may be messing you around, really. They may be two-timing you. They may be taking you for granted, and you may ex make excuses for them that they're frightened of committal and all that sort of thing. Don't make excuses for them. They're not babies, they're grown-ups. And um, stop ignoring, if you can, the bad faults they have, and ask yourself how your friends would see this person, he or she, because they're not always, well, you look at them through rose-coloured glasses, they're not always what they seem. So don't be taken for granted if you can help it. You've had it before, you don't need it. A lot of you out there have had a tough time throughout your life. And next week, you should see, although it's only a short seven days, you should see some improvements and the rewards for things you did many years ago. There are signs that some of you may be booking holidays or traveling next week. Good time to do it, but sort out your finances. You may need to do a balancing act. You may be robbing Peter to pay Paul, doesn't mean you're struggling necessarily, but make sure you've got everything sorted out financially before you go away and certainly before you book holidays that are way ahead in advance. Because I believe this summer there will be some trouble at the airports, with maybe striking or technical problems, there will be delays and uh, some of them will be quite severe. I think if you go to France there will be delays that side as well. So if you're booking holidays next week, it's a good week for booking them, because it is about timing, but make sure you, you've got covered and insured and all the sort of things you need, and medical insurance. A lot of you, as I said, will be rewarded next week for things you did years ago, things you may have forgotten about, but the people you helped at that time or worked for won't have forgotten, and they may reward you next week. Some of you out there are going to meet a romantic interest from a a person, a man or a lady who travels extensively, maybe up and down the country on the motorways, maybe it's a person who travels further afield, but there is romance in the air for some of you. There is a person heading your way who is but well, a bit of a dreamer and likes to fall in love, likes to treat a lady like a lady, or if you're a man, they like to treat you properly, the old-fashioned type of person. If it's a man, he'll buy you flowers. They're going to treat you with respect, they're loving, they're kind, they're caring, and they will have a history, and they will have been in romances before, and they've been burnt, had their fingers burnt, or been hurt and let down, which a lot of you have as well. But romance is in the air. Somebody may make you an offer. Somebody you may have known for a while may make you an offer. It's a romantic offer. If you're free, have a go. Take a chance. Because love could be around the corner for you. It's a good week for romance for a lot of you. And if you're a traveller yourself, it's a great week for romance. You may meet people that you like. And um, try to stop ignoring things. Don't put things off. If things need attention, 
next week, romantic or otherwise, deal with them. Because you do have a tendency sometimes to put things off, to turn the blind eye to things, to turn the blind eye to your person, your lover's faults. You need to see things clearly next week. As I said, think about what your friends would make of your lover, your persons. Sort out your finances. You may be moving money from one bank to another, sorting out things, robbing Peter to pay Paul, I think I said already, but sort out things next week. It's a good week for, for karma, for getting what you deserve, number one. And if you chose number one, there's nothing really disastrous predicting next week. In fact, it's fairly straightforward and pretty good week for you. And um, I think you'll get what you deserve. If you've been after something for a while, you may get it next week. If you've been waiting for a contract or something like that, you may get it next week or you may hear good news next week. So look out for next week, enjoy it. Let's take a look at number two. If you chose card deck number two, this is for you. And it's from Saturday, 23rd, there's your pendulum, of March 2019. And if you have any questions, think about them now, because they may come through this reading. The answers you want may be coming through right now. Again, if you could subscribe to my channel, please. Click like, share it with your friends, and make some comments below. I'll answer all of them if I can. And um, we'll take a look at number two. This is for you. Right. The message is quite clear, but contradictory. The message from the spirit world is to take a chance next week, but don't be reckless and stupid. Don't be irresponsible. It's time to take a leap of faith, and that may include a leap of faith with a person you like. A person maybe you're thinking you should get in touch with, but you don't really want to take a chance. Take a chance. Take a chance and get in touch with someone you like or you fancy. It may be a nice chap or a girl. It may be a mature lady. It's a good week for, uh, for mature lovers next week if you're a bit past uh, the, the teenage years. There is a lady around you next week who is pregnant. Get a lot of this in readings. Uh, the person who is pregnant next week may be due to have the baby very soon. Uh, she may have the baby sooner than she thinks because there could be a premature birth in the air. Nothing wrong. I don't think it's any disasters. A lot of you next week will be tempted to do things that you wouldn't normally do. And you may be tempted to say things that you wouldn't normally say. Temptation will come to you next week almost as if it is testing you out to see how you react. So react sensibly. Don't be tempted to do something naughty that you may regret. Don't be tempted to say things that may hurt people's feelings. Or don't be tempted to say things you'll regret because you can't unsay them. The same with emails. Once you press that send button, you can't take it back. So be careful what you say. Be careful what you do. Don't be tempted to do things you'll regret because you can never go backwards. You can go forwards into the future. You can learn from your past, but you can't go back to it. Look out for a lady who is successful in business. She has her own income. She doesn't need anyone. Doesn't mean she hasn't got someone. But she doesn't need anyone. She's self-sufficient, she's smart, she's feminine, she's clean and tidy, and she looks successful. She will be important to you next week. It could be a man for some of you, but it's that type of person. You're meeting this person, and it may be to do with money or success that could rub off on you. There is, as I said earlier, a message that you should take a leap of faith. It's time to boldly go where you haven't been before, as I say on the telly. Don't be tempted to do naughty things. A lot of you will be highly fertile, men and ladies, and fertility isn't just about babies. It's about everything you touch growing. So it's a good week for planning new things, for trying new projects, for taking up new hobbies. It's not a good week for going on diets for you. If you want to go on a diet, and a lot of you do, I'd leave it till near the end of the month or into April. In fact, the 1st of April is a good date to start diets. And it's a good date if you want to stop smoking or do something like that. Start in April, especially if you chose number two today. Take a leap of faith. Let's take a look at number three. If you chose number three, 
this is for you. Please subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and make some comments below, and I'll try and answer them all. I'm going to shuffle these for number three, and we'll stop there. Again, if you have questions that you'd like to ask, just think about them now, and the answers may come through this reading for you, especially for you. You'll know if it does straight away. There are tears for some of you next week, and most of them are tears of regret, crying over spilt milk. Not a good thing. No good crying over spilt milk, as I briefly mentioned in the last reading, because you can't go back and change it. Regretting things is not helping. And tears next week for you, I believe, would be unnecessary anyway and not helpful at all. Sometimes it's good to cry. You need to. Let out emotions. You need to get rid of them. But next week, if the tears are coming, make sure they're for a reason. Don't cry for nothing. Don't cry over spilt milk. If it's about a lover, they're not worth it anyway. You look forward to a new lover. A lot of you will be hurting from something that's been said to you or done to you by someone you care for. It may not be a lover, it could be a, fa a family member. Someone you like and care for may hurt your feelings or they may have done that recently and next week you're feeling it. Don't let it get to you because it will affect your sleeping patterns. You won't be eating properly, some of you. Some of you may be not eating at all and that's not good. Some of you will be overeating and that's as bad. There are signs for some of you that you're dealing with the law. So be careful if you're driving, you're not speeding or drink driving or taking photographs with your iPhone at the wheel or texting people. The law is after you if you are and you'll get what you deserve because you'll get karma. Look at if you're signing legal documents, paperwork, contracts, mortgage papers, credit card agreements. Watch out what you're signing next week. If you don't understand what you're signing, don't sign it or get somebody to look at it for you that does understand. There are, for some of you, quarrels next week. Arguments, quarrels, conflict. If the spirit world predicts arguments, it always means avoid them because it means you won't win. If you get involved in arguments next week, you're going to lose. Don't argue with your wife or your husband, your lover, your kids, the neighbours next door. Don't argue with anyone. Because you cannot win an argument next week. You'll be on the wrong side. You'll be wrong even when you're right. And if other people are arguing, keep out of it. Don't get dragged in. Because that's what tends to happen with you. A lot of you care and try to help. And it won't be appreciated. <clears throat> For a lot of you next week, you're on the verge of changing your fortunes for the better. This is very big and very special. It won't apply to all of you, but a lot of you next week are heading into a very, very lucky period. It will last for at least a week, maybe two or three weeks. At least till early April. With all readings of this kind, if good fortune is predicted, it will come in the form of offers and opportunities. So you need to have, well, to keep an eye open for new things. Take a chance and you'll change your fortunes dramatically for the better. If you fail to do that, then you'll, you'll think, oh, I got this wrong, but I, I assure you, good luck is coming to a lot of you, but you need to see it. You'll think, this is it, I'm going to have a go at this, and take a chance, and take a chance and improve your fortunes. Look after yourself next week. Don't get arguing with people, as I said. Look out for the law. Looking for the law in a reading is not always bad. It can mean karma that you get what you deserve. What, and sometimes what you legally deserve. Your fortunes will change for the better if you're adventurous and you must not cry over spilt milk. It's not good for you. You don't want to get down. And if you need a psychic reading face to face, well on the phone face to face, give me a call on my website is davidcharlespsychic.com. I work for people from all over the planet and I can do it for you. Looks like a good week for most of you. Number three next week. Let's take a look at, for those of you who chose pack number four. You may have waited a while, been patient, you may have run the video on. Number four. Think about any questions you may have, concentrate on them, and this reading may reveal them for you. You'll know if it does, and uh, we'll see. Number four next week, from Saturday the 23rd of March 2019. 
some of you are moving house. Some of you are planning to move house. Some of you are putting your houses on the market or looking for somewhere new to live, somewhere new maybe to rent. It's a great week for that. As I always say, life's about timing. If you want to look for new property next week, Saturday for seven days, and that includes any kind of movement. If you want to go on holiday, it's a good week to start it and book it, and maybe even to do it. If you're moving house next week, the omens are very good. The spirit world are predicting good stuff. And if you've got children, even better, because it will be good for your children. If you can't move next week, next week's the time to get on the internet and look for property that you like, because next week's the best time to find it. It's a great time of year if you're selling your house. If you've got to rent somewhere new, it's a great time to do it. Because you may have been moving around more than you wanted to in the past. You rent a house and then you're told they're going to sell it and you've got to leave. This is something you don't need to keep doing. So if you want to find a house to rent for a long time, for a lifetime even, next week's the time to do it. Especially for those of you who want to move into a more rural location, out in the country away from the cities and especially for those of you who are moving to water maybe the coast if you want to do it next week put it into action the week after that may not be as good it's about timing some of you will receive an offer from someone coincidentally who may come from water they may be from the coast they may live by a river there may be a water sign or, or a combination of the three somebody will make an offer to you and a lot of this is romantic. It could be a romantic time for you. A man or woman is going to make an offer to you and they have dark hair and they are kind, caring, sensitive and they will be subject to being hurt like some of you have so don't hurt them. They will need you to be the same as they are. That's a bit lovey-dovey, that's probably the right word. A lot of you next week are thinking you're giving something up maybe giving up smoking or giving up eating cream cakes. Next week's a good time for that. It's a good time for getting ready for dieting. As I touched on earlier, I think the dieting month for most of you will be April, unless you're already on one that's going well. Start your diet around about the 1st of April. A lot of you need to lose weight, a lot of you will lose weight, and a lot of you will be taking up hobbies that involve more exercise. Now this was always a good thing but it's not something you want to neglect it's no good taking up exercise for a week and then giving up because it takes time to get used to it but you'll find a lot of you next week that you're coming to the end of an era a part of your life is finishing you may have seen the death card on the table that doesn't mean death it means an ending or a new beginning it means you're clearing away all the rubbish and starting afresh. The death card can mean death if you're expecting one and you already know about it, but usually it means it's the end of a bad habit, the end of a bad relationship, and you're moving forward now into something new. It's a new time. Next week is big for you if you chose number four. There's a lot going on. You will receive a romantic offer, some of you, but it may be someone you've known for a while. If it's someone from the past, don't go backwards. You can be friends, but don't go backwards. Very rarely I say go backwards romantically. A lot of you are giving something up or considering giving something up. You may not do it, but you're thinking about it. You believe that walking away from a situation will take some pressure off you. And it probably will, but you need to do it. It's no good thinking about it. Some of you will be booking holidays next week. I said earlier to one of the other packs that there could be trouble at the airports this year and on the railways. So if you're booking holidays, Try and be cautious, get the right um, insurance in place. But number four, good week, but it's a changing week. Things are changing and you need to be ready for it. I think a lot of you are making changes because you want to. And it's a great week for those of you with children next week. The children and you will be happy. You'll know what they're up to. You'll be happy. That looks about everything for next week. I'll do a reading for the following week at some point next week. Please subscribe to my channel, please tell your friends and share this, and a special uh, goodbye to those of you who are alone or lonely today, and goodbye to all of you, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.